Hello everyone, it is Cryptograns here and welcome back to another Unity Idle Game tutorial video. This is episode 5.2 and today we're going to be implementing the scientific notation. It's been about a month since I've last posted and I'm deeply sorry for that. I've been very busy with Compacto and just a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to do my best to get back into a, a better routine, I guess. But yeah, so if you find this video helpful, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and turn on notifications for future videos and live streams. Let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is open up your methods script because we're going to be messing with our notation method. So if you don't remember from the last episode, we have implemented the standard notation inside of our um, notation switcher here. And this one's going to be very easy actually. So um, I'll show you why. So this is so easy to do because a big double contains two fields, a mantissa and an exponent. So the mantissa is basically what we have before the decimal. And that's what we do inside of our standard notation. And the exponent is the exponent, right? Let me provide you guys an example of what the scientific notation really is. So let's say we have a number. Um, let's just do something like this 1.345 million so let's start with the exponent so the exponent is how many digits this is or we can just take the log 10 of this number and we will get the exponent so basically log 10 of this number is going to be 6.128 and 7 so we want to round this down and that will be our exponent so we do that by flooring it so this rounds our number down and basically this just uh, we have our six as our exponent. Now for a mantissa, we want to take the first, I don't know, three or four digits of this number. And we already have that. So we get that from the mantissa variable, which is part of the big double. So our mantissa in this situation will be 1.345 and we can just keep going on if we want. So this would be the mantissa of this number, but we want to simplify it down to um, three or two decimal places. And that would be rounded up like that. So first let's grab this mantissa from this, um, this input here, our input number. So to do that, we just access the mantissa field from number and we're going to convert it to a string and we're going to apply our, um, fixed point format and let's just show three decimals you can do two you can do three whatever you want if you'd like to add some customization we can also add another parameter inside of this method for our mantissa digits and by default i want to show three so now we need to apply this variable to both of our formats so i'm going to add the dollar sign and add curly braces and then our um our variable here and this is string interpolation. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. All right, so next we wanna add the E, but I wanna uh, convert this to string interpolation just so this makes it look a lot cleaner. All right, and then I'm gonna add E and then our exponent. So this will be number dot exponent. All right, so now for the exponent, when it gets bigger, I wanna show commas just because it looks nicer. So what we're gonna do is apply the number um, format, so N, and we don't want any decimal, so zero, so n zero. So now we're gonna see some commas when we have bigger numbers. All right, that is all we need to do in here. So let's head to our game and play it. Sweet, so this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a bit messy. Let me get rid of some of these. There we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like. That's how I want it to be. And make sure you are in the scientific notation and settings if you just wanna see it. Otherwise, it'll look like this. It'll be standard. So yeah, make sure you switch it in the settings and you will see the correct results. Now, the one issue I see is that our cost down here, um, I don't see this decimal effect working. Let's take a look. All right, so inside of our upgrades manager, I realized that I haven't applied the notation to our upgrade cost yet. So all you need to do is dot notate. And if you wanna apply a certain amount of decimals, so let's say we want two decimals, um, we could just put two. So our normal digits, that would be this. So we only want two. And for our um, mantissa here, let's say we only want one. You know, we can just put one in here. If you want two, you can put two. If you want five, you can put five, whatever you want. So you can mess with these settings all you want. Otherwise, if you just put in two, by default, the mantissa digits will be three. So I want to leave this as normal. So just be dot notate and we will get three normal digits and we will have three mantissa digits, if that makes sense. 
Okay, sweet. So as you can see, we have three normal digits. And when we get to the higher numbers, you can see we have three Mantissa digits like that. Cool. All right. So that is all we need to do for this video. If you enjoyed this one and if it was helpful, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and turn on that bell for future notifications for videos and live streams. All right, guys, I'll see you in episode 5.3, which will be the engineering notation. So it's very similar to scientific, except we will see more numbers. It's more like a mix of standard and scientific. Have a good rest of your day or night, and thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.